You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, our Lord. May all hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, a living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be open and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops. We especially pray for Archbishop Brown, we pray for all the apostles, priests, deacons, missionaries, religious, and all people. And gracious Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We also pray for an end to the Ebola outbreak. We pray for grieving families, especially the families of those who have lost a loved one as a result of a violent act or as a result of an accident. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, 
the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, we pray that you bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me, look kindly upon you, servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. 
I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory, to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I am so glad that you were able to join us in prayer. Some of you are coming back once again. Some of you are here for the first time. To all of you, I welcome you. And to all of you, I say that it is wonderful that we can join together in prayer, even though we might be quite a distance away from, distance away from each other. And that's one of the things that we at the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus attempt to do, to bring believers all over the world closer to each other by way of having a devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. See, the devotion of the Sacred Heart of Jesus is not about denominational lines. It's not about my theology is right and yours is wrong. It's not about arguing and proving who's right and who's wrong. It's about coming together based on one common ground, that Jesus Christ is Lord and that through Him and by believing in Him we will receive eternal life. And that if we focus our lives on following His heart, on listening to His teachings, and doing what He tells us to do. Our lives will improve tremendously from the way they are now. For there's always room for improvement. And a humble and contrite heart knows that. And so that's one of the things that we try to accomplish here in the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. That's why the Lord put it in my heart to... Make sure that everyone from all the nominations is welcome. Because all of us belong to the same Jesus Christ. We might not understand Him exactly the same way. We might not see things eye to eye. But we certainly know, we certainly understand we are certainly aware that only through Christ we will receive eternal life in heaven. And so, we can start off from that point and let the Holy Spirit take care of the rest. So, I invite you to come by our website today, regardless of what your denominational affiliation is, and visit us at sacredheartjesus.org, that is, sacredheartjesus.org and when you get to our website there's a form right there on the home page fill out that form submit it and as soon as I get it and as soon as I have the opportunity I will send you some excuse me some more information about our ministry and before you log out please take one tiny second of your time that's all it takes a tiny second and click on the share button of your application and share this prayer with as many people as you can.